Hi guys, welcome back to My Colourful Country Life. Today I have a flip through of Rita Berman's newest book release to show you all. The title is in German, but it does translate in English to My Journey Through Europe. Now, all of Rita's books are 20 by 20 centimetres square in size, which makes them actually the perfect travelling companion to take with you. Um, the cover is a thick matte card and it has some raised glossy embellishments on the front and on the title as well. It is currently for sale on Book Depository for $21.15, that's Australian dollars. Um, right now I'll put all the links down below. Now when we open the book we get an illustration straight away. Now this book doesn't have a nameplate or a book belongs to page so you could use this opportunity to add your name here if you can get your name to fit um, and if you look at all the different buildings here you'll see some familiar landmarks or some stereotypical buildings that you may find in some of the different countries we're about to visit so a little taste of what's to come and we have a little car driving along the road through Europe. On this page we have a list of all of Rita's previous books and then some information about the artist. Then we have the title page with some little holiday snaps up here for you to colour. Okay, next we have um, some copyright information, publishing information over here, and we start our main illustrations. So the tag on this bottle translates to have a nice trip. And inside the bottle, we've got a tropical underwater theme, um, this happy little smiling turtle with some landmarks on his back. We've got the London Eye, a windmill, a Big Ben, a castle. Um, and then we've got this um, beautiful little watery border on the outside. Okay, and we're starting off our journey in this sweet little town over here. I wonder if this is meant to depict Rita's hometown. This page here makes me think of four seasons in one day, a bit like where I live. Um, we've got the log cabins down the bottom here with some pine trees looking very wintry. Um, a log cabin here near a lake with some autumn leaves falling. And then down the road here we have a little village with some sailing boats. Uh, this could look nice, very summery and bright. And then if you follow the water under the bridge, you come to another village with a windmill um, and some hot air balloons up top, which has a very spring feel. On the next page, we've got an introduction, which I have translated for you. And it says, when I travel, three things should never be missing. Comfortable running shoes for long expeditions, a good deal of curiosity, and of course, my sketchbook. To be inspired again and again and with open eyes, moving through our colourful Europe gives me great pleasure. Over the years, I have had wonderful experiences and discovered many exciting places. I would now like to share this source of happiness with you and invite you to travel page by page through Europe together to discover something special and maybe also new perspectives on the familiar. I hope you enjoy the route. I hope you enjoy yourself. Rita Berman. Then we have our travel map down the bottom to colour in as well. Okay, so we have a lamp post here, which has all the signs of places that we might be visiting throughout the book. Some of which the, have been written in German. So we have Amsterdam in the Netherlands, Venice, Italy, London, England, Lisbon, Portugal, Paris, France, uh, Cologne, Germany, and Bruges in Belgium. There's also this leafy border down the side too. So if you're feeling creative, you could actually draw in some more of these leaves and follow the pattern um, and have them swirling around the lamppost up to the flower and the other leaves up the top. And you could also carry on um, with the cobblestone path as well. Uh, here is our little travel map with all the sites to stop and see along the way. So we've got a double page of lots of little circular illustrations. Uh, little borders around them makes me think of looking through a telescope. 
lots of little holiday related objects. Next, we have a bookcase filled with geographical related books and a typewriter here as well, perhaps to record our travels in these journals. Then a page with objects relating to different countries. So we have a Vespa with some French breadsticks and some olive oil. There's an umbrella over Big Ben. We've got the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Eiffel Tower and um, the London Eye. Okay, I think we might be in Paris here with the cathedral in the background and then we've got the Bridge of Locks, which I believe there's a Bridge of Locks over the River Seine. Um, I am really testing my geography skills here, but um, I think that might be in Paris. And now we are starting in Germany and these pencils at first glance look like a floating sign here but it's actually attached to the buildings you can see the lines down the side um, so the buildings have become part of a packet of pencils which is a fabulous effect and the more you look at readers drawings the more you see so we've got this packet of pencils um, and a pencil being sharpened down at the bottom okay we have our suitcase Packed. our passport is ready we've got our map and all of our accessories we need to start our journey here we are all packed we're ready to hit the road I imagine this is Rita ready to leave her house we've got our compass on top of our luggage so we don't get lost we've got a beach ball um, a bucket and surfboard on top of the combi van ready to hit the beach does everyone call that a combi or is that just an um, Aussie thing? I think I've asked that question before in another book. Looks like we have everything packed but the kitchen sink here. So we have um, a teapot or a kettle, a, a Monstera plant, a cat on the cushion. So we're bringing our little pet with us. All sorts of objects from home and we're driving into this beautiful landscape over here. These beautiful little villages. Um, next we're in Venice taking a gondola ride um, we have this little mask here as well which matches the other side of the page so perhaps we're making a stop over at the Venice Carnival Festival um, she has this beautiful headdress on as well and we have this quilted looking pattern in the background she's very pretty We have little blocks of different objects over here. We've got different types of pastas, some towels drying over here in the sun, lots of different buildings, some ice blocks, some flowers. We have our Vespa here with a giant fruit filled gelato and a cone on the back, heading over to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now we are painting a landscape picture under a fruit tree with our little cat that we had packed on the back of our car to come on our holiday with us. And we've got a beautiful little village scene on this page. These two pages um, are some of my most favourite in this book. I really, really like this page. Lots of little individual pictures on these pages here. Um, we've got a coffee grinder, espresso maker, gelato, um, a gondola, we've got some pasta, some olive oil, lots of little pictures you can colour a little bit at a time. Okay, then we've got a couple of ocean themed pages, there's a little goldfish bowl down here and we've got an umbrella um, protecting the little homes. And they look like they're getting whisked away by the waves. And here we have some fish caught up in a wave or a whirlpool. This page we've got a scuba diver with lots of fish and uh, coral. And then we've got this lovely beach scene. We've got an octopus down here with a magnifying glass. He's checking out the um, underwater colouring book over here. Now we are in Lisbon, 
this picture makes me think of the little old lady that lived in the shoe. The shape reminds me a bit of a boot. Um, so we have all these little houses and they're sitting up here like they're on the edge of a cliff with a little castle up on top. And we've got a tram down the bottom here near some crashing waves and some a fish hanging up here as well. Um, this picture is really interesting. We have the tram coming into the picture here and then going up and along um, this sort of walkway up here. And then coming back out again down the bottom and lots of buildings, these lovely little sort of tiles, maybe little mosaics. Here we are baking some pastries. We've got cinnamon sticks, we've got milk, eggs, uh, dough, butter, lemons, and some more of those little um, tiles around the edges as well. Um, and on this page, we have our table set with all our freshly baked pastries and a nice hot cup of tea ready to enjoy. Okay, we have this floral design which sort of reminds me a bit of the tiles um, that we are seeing and another page with some small images to colour and one of those little tiles in the middle. We've got a bunch of blooms on this page and some on this page as well getting mailed off to some family or friends back at home. Another page of uh, florals to colour and a lovely outdoor picnic setting. We have a floral love heart motif here and two cats overlooking a Parisian scene. This is the colour, this is a page I decided to colour first. So I used uh, Prisma colours and they work beautifully on this paper, um, blended really well. I do have a colour along for this page if you're interested and it should be up in the next day or so. Here we have a beautiful Paris scene with the Eiffel Tower, um, a cafe, a florist and a cobblestone laneway. And we've got a bird playing in um, a bird bath here with another lamp post and some balloons flying around. We have a giant stack of sweet treats, this beautiful floral border as well. And here we've got the exterior of a cake shop, a patisserie, and this cat looks like he um, wants to go in and get some cakes. I love this page, this is another favourite of mine. Okay, we've got a lot of accessories here. I can spot some Chanel number no. five. There's bags, jewelry, makeup, etc. And then we have a house, which is also a handbag. There's a key hanging off the chimney with a little um, Eiffel Tower. And we've got these little zips down here next to the um, little cobblestones at the bottom of the house. Here we have some dandelions with some scenery inside um, a few of them and another page of little pictures to colour. We have a double page, lots of buildings and flowers and some rather giant bugs to colour um, as well. This is giving me spring vibes. Okay, next we are in Bruges with these magical swans. This beautiful little village behind. This is very um, Disney princess. I'm not sure what these, all these little things hanging down are, whether they're bottles. She looks like a bit of twine wrapped around the top of it. I'm not quite sure. Up next we have this page of hanging objects double page of hanging objects so these ones sort of look like sun catches to me um i'm not sure what these ones here are most of them are hanging we've got some floating objects here um i'm not sure 
about these pages. Not sure about these two. Now this one is really cute. Uh, look at the facial cat, uh, facial expression on the cat. I think I'd look pretty similar if I'd just been shopping in this chocolate shop too. He's got all of his little packages or her packages. Um, and this page here, I'm guessing, is some treats that you can buy from the chocolate shop. We've got a house on a boat with these uh, tulips as well. And then this sort of circular pattern of um, houses like a village on a cliff or a mountain and some, lots of flowers on the side. We are sending more flowers back home this time from Amsterdam and we've got some clogs as well. Um, we've got these buildings on top of this bridge and on the bottom we have um, these waves, fish, boat and a bicycle which almost looks like it's a mural painted onto the bottom of the bridge. Next we have a dog riding a bicycle. He's picked up a lovely bunch of flowers there and some shops or some homes over the top of a bridge. A, another floral pattern which looks a little bit like those tiles and a bouquet of flowers. And we have a very windy looking double page here. Um, lots of hot air balloons passing over some buildings. Now we've made it to London. We have some landmarks in the back here. London Eye, Big Ben, um, the Underground, etc. Got a crowd of people rushing about in the rain. Got some packages ready to be sent in the post. One of these traditional red um, post boxes. And over here we've got some postcards and some stamps here. Uh, it looks like looks like uh, Princess Diana up there on the stamp. Could be the Queen, but it looks like Princess Diana. We've got someone making um, a cup of tea over here on the in front of the window, and a dog delivering the London news and some mail here. Next we have a canal with a little village and then some London objects over here. There's some hot chips wrapped in newspaper. We've got a map of London and a cup of tea, of course. We've got a lot more hot air balloons. This one here has a cityscape inside. I really, really like this picture. It might be the next one I colour. It was almost the first one I coloured. It's a really pretty picture. Oh, I love these pages too. Perfect for the half of the world that are coming into autumn right now, not us. We're in spring, heading to summer, looking forward to some warmer weather. Um, but here we've got a little campsite and we're toasting some marshmallows, lots of other objects relating to camping and such. Um, this page I almost coloured first. It was really hard to choose my first. There's so many of them that are my favourites. Um, but this is a beautiful, cool, wintry looking scene um, with a night sky here. Even an autumn scene, you could do this as well with the beautiful toadstools. And here we have some beautiful forest pictures. Um, this guy here looks like he's got some candles on his horns to light his way. Once again, we've got some floral patterns this time. We've got some berries and some acorns and stuff mixed in. At this page, we've got a few different um, strips of landscape. So we've got an ocean theme and then like a city or a village. And then we've got our forest theme and we've got some pencils sitting in amongst the pine trees down there. And here we have a little village scene. This one's a really pretty picture as well.
Then we have a double page of all sorts of mixed items from our travels to colour. So if you're limited in time, you could maybe colour an object a day, something small to do. Now, this page is the cover image. It's so pretty and so detailed. This would take ages to colour, but gosh, it would look amazing once it was complete. The Way Reader puts all these items together and makes it look this amazing. Um, she's one very talented lady. And have you seen her colouring? I'd love to see Reader on YouTube making colouring tutorials one day. That's something I definitely would love to see. But just the way she's put all this together. I mean, we've got Eiffel Tower up here. We've got some mountains, little village scenes with the tram going through up here. Just so many different things creating one beautiful picture. Um, over here, it looks like we are back from our journey. We've got our globe, our suitcase, um, our journaling items, and maybe some postcards to send off. And then we have our um, paper test page. So here you can test out your different mediums or, or um, mark down your colour palettes. And there's also some little items as well that you can colour on the pages too. And we have the pictures of all of Rita's books that were listed at the beginning. And then we have one final picture back home from our travel and we've got some little traveling books maybe these are our little journals from our travels or maybe we're preparing for our next journey so on the back of the book it says um in her new book rita berman goes on a big tour and shows our colorful europe from an unusual perspective from Cologne, we drive to sunny Italy, then drive through the Mediterranean to Portugal and stroll through the charming metropolis Paris before the chocolate city of Bruges. We marvel tulips in Amsterdam, drink tea in London, and in the end, make it for us cosy in the deep forests of Scandinavia. So that, my friends, is Rita Berman's new book, My Journey Through Europe. Let me know what you think of the book down below, which page was your favourite. There is too many for me to choose from. Um, I will leave the links to purchase this book down below also. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in our next video, which will be the colour along from this book. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.